Every country has its unique characteristics and quirks. Today, we're going to look at Japan and all the things found here and only here. The most special Kit Kats. Lots of people love Kit Kats and lots of people in the world have access to it. However, the Kit Kats sold in Japan are next level. If there's a Japanese grocery market in your town, you might have come across some matcha flavored ones, but to really see the selection, you need to go to Japan. Since the year 2000, there have been over 300 limited edition seasonal and regional flavors sold in Japan. It also helps that the term Kitokatsu, which sounds a lot like Kit Kat, so happens to mean you will surely win in Japanese. Leaving people to associate Kit Kats with good luck. The smallest hotels. One of the most unique things you'll find in Japan are its famous capsule hotels, sometimes referred to as pod hotels. These types of travel accommodations first started with the capsule in Osaka, which opened in 1979. In order to save space but also money for travelers, if you're willing to stay in a room that typically measures 6 feet 7 inches by 3 feet by 4 feet or 2 by 1 by 1.25 meters, then you're gonna pay significantly less than you would for a hotel room. Rice Paddy Art. Granted, anywhere you go in Asia is bound to have an impressive rice paddy or two. However, when it comes to appearance, no one gets as elaborate as Japan. Every summer, millions of people visit the rice fields of Aomori, Japan to check out the year's rice paddies art for the Rice Art Festival. If you were expecting crop circles, you're in for a much more creative and detailed sight. Artists may feature many references to pop culture and known figures, such as this Star Wars field. The tradition goes back to 1993, when locals of the Aomori prefecture needed a way to reinvent their village. Vending machines everywhere. If you've ever been to Japan, you were probably astounded with not only the amount of vending machines at every corner, but also the kinds of things you can purchase from them. Typically, we expect some small snacks and sodas. In Japan, you can buy anything from fruit, self freezing Coca Cola, and eggs to flying fish, soup, and hamburgers. You could get a whole meal from these things. For a place that has a population with an average of low weight, lots of things here are really convenient. Don't forget your toilet shoes. While it may not make a difference for some people to wear slippers in one part of the house and not in the other, in Japan, a big part of their culture is keeping things separate from the house. This includes a cleaner part of the house to something unclean, hence the use of terms such as toilet slippers. Even though the toilet is now typically located inside the house rather than being in an outhouse, the toilet area is still considered unclean. Understandably so. That means you need to wear your toilet slippers and remember not to drag those slides back into the living room. Up or down. There's some amazing architectural feats to check out in Japan, but lots of places have cool architecture. You know what no other place has that Japan does? The shortest escalator in the world. The city of Kawasaki can be found between Yokohama and Tokyo. Near the bottom levels of its Moore's department store is the escalator that measures to a height of 2.7 feet or 83.4 centimeters and has about five steps. Sleeping more. You've probably seen photos of trains in Japan and lots of people falling asleep in the most hilarious positions. The truth of the matter is, yeah, it's common. Apparently, in Japanese cultures, napping in public isn't frowned upon. Instead, napping in front of people suggests that you are working really hard, so much so that you're exhausted. People know that once you open your eyes again, you'll be back to working and on your way. That's why when employees doze off at work, they don't get reprimanded, but instead praised. Baby mayonnaise. One bizarre food item we'll mention is mayonnaise. And not just any mayonnaise. We're talking about QP mayonnaise. Supposedly creamier and smoother than regular mayonnaise, QP consists of rice vinegar as opposed to the more commonly used distilled vinegar. QP mayonnaise also appears distinct with a small baby on the packaging. Strange, yes, but it does suggest that the mayonnaise is as smooth as a baby's skin. Still strange, though. A place to rest. Pillows in general are comfortable, right? However, they're not necessarily comforting. An invention originating out of Japan is the lap pillow. Many times, it will come complete with a mini skirt to suggest you're resting your head in the lap of a woman. The invention of the Hizamakura lap pillow was to help those who felt lonely, specifically men who didn't have a significant other. Um, oh yeah. The Japanese hand towel. In America, one of the reasons you get a warm, damp towel at a restaurant is usually if you visit a place that serves barbecue. In Japan, you can be offered these in most restaurants and bars not after your meal, but before. Remember how we mentioned how much cleanliness is emphasized in the home? The same goes for going out. You're supposed to clean your hands before you eat, with the towel called an oshibori. The vegetable honor system. The first thing you think of when you see items on sale and no vendor around is that lots of people are gonna be tempted to steal. Yet the amount of unmanned vegetable stands in Japan shows that humanity still has honor. When you wanna buy a vegetable, but see no sales representative or vendor around, all you do is grab what you came for and leave the appropriate amount of money. 
The honor system has a collection of money of around 80 to 90 percent, which means some people still don't pay, but most do. Be a square. We've touched upon square watermelons before, and if you've seen our strange food inventions vid, then you know a bit about this food phenomenon. To grow into a square shape, unripe watermelons are placed in square containers as they grow, so that they mold to the shape of the container. Prices go as high as $100 for these purely ornamental items. Originally, however, their purpose was to be able to store them more easily into the refrigerator, an invention by graphic designer Tomoyuki Ono. Tissues, anyone? Random runny noses have met their demise in Japan. If you ever need a tissue, the streets of Japan will be more than happy to offer you some free ones. Lots of companies spread their marketing by helping not spread germs. You'll see lots of tissue packs with advertisements from various companies as people hand out these marketing tissue packs in the cities. Pocket tissue production in this country a year comes out to a billion dollars or 100 billion yen. Randoseru Backpack it looks more or less like a regular backpack, but does have its distinct qualities. For one, the Randoseru backpack are made to be sturdy, lasting a young student about six years in school. Japanese students, closer to the elementary school age, will be seen wearing these backpacks by the hundreds. The look also has gotten popular overseas, for its cute design and for its frequency in appearing in anime shows. The Warmest Table Speaking of anime, you've probably seen tables like this if you're fond of anime or J-dramas. That's one of those kotatsu tables, a wooden table covered by a futon that sits low to the ground. You can't see it, but under all that blanket is a heat source. During the olden days, it used to be a charcoal brazier, though now they just use an electric heater. Other countries may have similar devices, but you'll find the specific kotatsu exclusively in Japan. The Toilets in Japan not only do you wear certain slippers to the toilet, but there's a whole different level to the toilet bowl itself in this place? Apparently so. If you've been to a trendy Japanese restaurant, you've probably seen similar devices. Known to be more technologically advanced than toilets in most other countries, going to the bathroom offers a whole new experience when you visit these East Asian islands. Over 81% of households in Japan have toilets like these and come with features such as a bidet wash, seat warming, an automatically closing and opening seat cover, and even deodorization. The car with manners. If you get a really nice taxi or Uber driver, then they might come out and open the door for you. More often than not, however, they don't do that because everyone's in too much of a hurry. Out on the streets of Japan, however, it's not uncommon to have the taxi stop next to you and automatically open the door. The driver just has to push the button after they pull up to you on the curb, and you may be told to step back. Is this where the future is headed? There's been some debate whether or not this helps or hinders people, especially when the door malfunctions. For those who want to touch as little of public surfaces as possible, the germaphobe may be glad for this. Bathe in ramen. Look, if you really wanted to, you could fill your tub up with water and broth and get a similar experience. But who honestly wants to do that? Lots of the novelty gets removed. So if you're into wacky activities, then you should pay a visit to the Unison Spa Resort in Hakone Prefecture. Right at the foot of the mountains is this delightfully out of the ordinary spa where they not only offer baths and ramen broth, but also green tea and wine. Oh, and coffee too. You can even catch pouring ceremonies where these huge tubs get filled with liquid. And make no mistake, that's real broth and wine that goes in there. Weird ice cream. Forget the 36 flavors that Baskin Robin can offer you. Go to Japan, and you'll find flavors and combinations you probably never dreamed of. Flavors like squid ink and corn and cheese can be found in lots of other Asian countries. Though you'll find shark ice cream, snake ice cream, and raw horse meat flavors almost exclusively in Japan. Hotel for Love Couples get their own super private getaway in the room of their fantasies. Establishments known as love hotels can be found throughout the country, usually in city districts or in industrial areas. These hotels are short stay and have a selection of different themed rooms to choose from. The first love hotel was built in 1968, located in Osaka, known as Hotel Love. All right, pause. Before we get to number one, let us know in the comments below which of these things you've seen before or which you think are the strangest and would like to try. Okay, moving to mascot characters. What are we talking about? Everyone has mascots. Okay, that's true. But in Japan, you're gonna see them more often than not, and they're usually cute, yet odd forms like these. These types of mascot characters are known as yuruchara. Used to promote organizations, events, businesses, or even regions, the yuruchara are hailed as kawaii, often shaped from figures or motifs from history and culture. 
For businesses, these characters seem to help their revenue, with character-driven sales reaching up to $16 billion back in 2012. Thank you so much for watching, and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the vid. Hit that bell notification so you know when we upload a new video, and make sure you subscribe.